is it you want, Mrs. Carrington? I would like to see Mrs. Wheeler. That's all right with you. It is all right with me, but she doesn't usually receive at this ungodly hour of the morning. Oh, I think she'll see me. Vivian! Heaven's name is the call we're doing on the stairs. Mr. Wheeler, I'm dying. Oh, good morning, Iris. I'm glad to see you're an early riser. Because there's something I want to talk to you about. Becker, I'm sorry to be interrupting you so early in the morning. Oh, don't give it another thought. We're early risers around here, too. Sit down, Dennis. Thank you. Would you like some coffee? Uh, please. I, uh, I guess this, uh, has to do with, uh, your phone call of yesterday. That's right. I'd like to see my father, Stryker. I'd like to see him today. My hands are tied, Dennis. Oh. So Alex Wheeler is the one I'm supposed to speak to, is that it? Well, then what's the problem? He is not the one you have to go to see. Well, then who is? It's Iris, Dennis. Mom? Mm, yes. As I understand it, she is behind Alex's decision not to drop charges against Elliot. I should have known it. Now, no. wait a minute, Dennis. I have got a suggestion to make. What? It's an obvious one, but suppose you went to see her. Stryker, there would be no point in that. Why do you say that? Because I've already seen her. But when? Last night. But not about visiting Elliot in the hospital. No. She came to me to try and talk me into having nothing more to do with him. Did you, uh, tell her how you felt? Oh, I let her know in no uncertain terms, but she still doesn't care. Suppose you went to see her again. Wouldn't work, Stryker. She's so wrapped up with her own feelings, she doesn't care about anybody else's. Son, don't you think you're being a little harsh? No, I don't, Stryker. How do you feel about your father? Would you mind telling me that? I intend to stick by my father. He's seriously disturbed. He needs help. Now, well, that was a terrible thing that he went through in Cambodia. That's something my mother seems to have forgotten. But hey, I have. You want to do everything you can to help him. He's my father. It doesn't matter what he's done. Your loyalty is admirable. Unfortunately, my mother doesn't share your opinion. No, 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 no. She is still terribly shaken by what happened. Look, my father wasn't in his right state of mind when he shot Alex. Well, I'm pretty certain that there's no question about that. Well, look, doesn't that affect his legal position? I mean, the fact that he was seriously disturbed? No, that hasn't been established yet. And it won't be until he has completed this uh, battery of psychological They're giving him tests now? Well, it's standard procedure, Dennis. It has to be done. That's exactly what he doesn't need after all he's been through. Now, look, it's nobody's intention to prolong your father's suffering. That's not what they're doing up in the hospital. Maybe not, but Mom's intent on making his life as rough as possible. Really believe that, do you? Yes, I do, Stryker. She's been behaving in a very vindictive way towards him. Well, I won't argue with you. You've made your mind up, obviously, but I do hope that you don't let any of this cause a breach between you and your mother. I'm afraid that's already happened. What do you want? This ungodly hour. I told Mrs. Carrington you don't receive it this ungodly hour. Thank you, Vivian. Now, if you will just take the coffee up to Mr. Wheeler and tell him I'll be there shortly. Smell very shortly. Thank you. How I loathe hearing you call that name. Pardon? Mrs. Carrington. Actually, it should be a bond between us, since you once had the name yourself. A bond? I get a sick feeling just at the thought of it, right here. And the fact that you got the name by marrying my son adds insult to injury. I'm not here to trade insults with you, Iris. Well, why are you here? To gloat? No. Not that either, although you might think I have good reason to. You've succeeded in creating a rift between Dennis and me, oh, haven't no, you? Oh, no, no, no. You did that without any help from me last night. Never mind last night. I know what you're up to. Do you? And what is that? You're doing everything in your power to separate me from my son. And you obviously won't be happy until you have him completely in your clutches. I have news for you, Iris. 
He already is in my clutches, and he's very happy to be there. Yes. Maybe he is, until he sees through you, which shouldn't take too long. And once he realizes how scheming and manipulative you are... That's very are. amusing coming from you, Iris. I didn't ask you to sit down. Oh, you really are something, aren't you? What is that supposed to Don't mean? Don't you think your darling son ever saw through you? Just say what's on your mind and leave, will you? All right. Very well, I'll get right to the point then. You and I are made out of the same cloth. What? Yes, and it's time you realized that. If I thought for one minute that I was anything like you... Listen, Iris, there is no reason why we shouldn't get along. Are you suggesting that we become friends? After a fashion, huh. yes. Not on your life. All right. Then allies. But before that can happen, there's a misunderstanding that has to be cleared up. And what is that, Graytail? My belief that you want to come between me and my son? Exactly. You have the gall to sit there and deny that's your goal? All right. Since you believe that is what I want, then let me ask you something. How do you think I plan to separate you and Dennis? Well, it's obvious. By turning him against Alex. You really believe that, don't you? Yes. And you think you can accomplish that by putting those crazy notions in his head about Elliot. What crazy notions? That the man is worth saving. Oh, Iris, you couldn't be more wrong. What? What What are you saying? Hasn't it dawned on you? I want Elliot out of the way as much as you do. Why? Never mind why. The point is I want exactly what you want. I suppose that includes getting Dennis to accept Alex. Yes, it does. The only difference between us is that I realize that can't be accomplished by shoving Alex down Dennis's throat. You've obviously given this a great deal of thought. Yes, I have. In fact, I think it's time we join forces. <laughs>